As Veterans Day approaches, Americans take a day to remember those who have served. In Waynesboro, Virginia, one veteran recalls his experience during World War II using just his memory. My name is George W. Fox, and I'm 91 years old. As the youngest of three children, George was chosen to enlist in the U.S. Army. My brother and sister and I got together in case uh, I didn't come back. Uh, brother take care of mom and dad, and he would have the farm. Once in Europe, George got news that he needed to be ready to fight on the 6th of June. Four o'clock in the morning, uh, they told us to be ready to go on June the 6th. There were over 6,000 American casualties at the Battle of Normandy. The first man I saw on the beach uh, had his whole stomach just shot out on the sand. The Germans were sitting up on top of it, just dropping rocks, I mean, uh, hand grenades down on them. I was wounded soon after I got off. I thought I was dead. Uh, and uh, I got a bad concussion, and I had, oh, I guess 15, 18 small shrapnel holes in my body. George received the Purple Heart while hospitalized in England. An estimated 1.7 million Americans have received the Purple Heart since its creation during the Revolutionary War. George's wife, Fontaine, praises her husband for reliving that difficult day. I mean, he, he just uh, has wonderful attitude toward the experience, and I know it was hard. We go out to eat. He points to his, anyone of Ewald's generation, he'll show them his license plate which is June 6, 44. And uh, do you know what that is, what happened that day? <laughs> Each year, George attends Veterans Day events in his area to be recognized for his achievements. To pay tribute to veterans in your area, check out the Virginia War Memorial located on Belvedere for their Veterans Day activities.